Okay, take number two. Um, <clears throat> little dusty in here, and I got the fan on. Um, right here is fiberglass fibers. Down here is cracks. Those cracks you see print up through the fiberglass, but I sanded until that went away and all I got was fibers. Now I got to level that off before I gel coat it because now I got a, a concave there. But when you're trying to get rid of an imperfection, what you want to do is you want to sand until you see pink and not yellow. Well, when you got many different layers, let me walk back here for a second. When you got many different layers, it's hard to know where that stops, okay? I can certainly see solid right here in the middle. I can certainly see different rings of different layers of fiberglass from the manufacturing process. There's no way to get that yellow out. So I'm gonna, you know, stop on that one and patch it. This up here was a crack. And I started sanding like right here on the crack and I stopped and decided I would tackle this one. And I know there's some of those are layers and I know some of it might still be the crack. I'm not sure if I'm done sanding on that yet. But more than likely that's as deep as I'm going to go. I don't know what it looks like on the other side. I need to get it apart and see if I need to actually do a through hole patch on this thing. But hopefully that's as deep as I'm going to go. And then I'll just bring it out this way a little bit and then patch it good and solid right there. Um, but I don't think I'm going to go any deeper unless I see something on the other side that says this thing busted all the way through. It might have busted all the way through. I hope not. But it might have. But in any event, I tackled this one. I haven't tackled this one enough yet. I'm not sure just how massive of a project I've got on this one little patch. But this is the big one. This is the hardest part so far. I'm sure there's a few down there, a few dings and dents and holes and things that I haven't gotten to yet. Um, hopefully I can be easier on this boat when I get done with it than the original owner. But uh, I hear out on the lake it can be getting pretty windy and get pretty rough. And uh, you can get caught in it without knowing what the weather's doing. Uh, Mr. OCD here has figured out a way <coughs> to uh, keep the fiberglass dust or gel coat dust from falling into his respirators. I am tired. It's been a long day. I did not get a lot of sanding done yet and I did get that off and I do have a lot more work because of it. Um, but the goal is to have this boat sanded by the end of March. I doubt if I'm going to reach that goal <laughs> because some of these areas are time consuming and you don't want to rush them. You want to get them right. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But this is the uh, cold weather project and uh, I am a long way from ever putting this boat in the lake but um, I don't it, it's not going in the lake this year if I go to the lake this year it's going to either be on somebody else's boat or a different boat uh, but as far as this beast it will be in this garage and it will be a project and I will uh, <laughs> I was making a joke to myself last summer I worried about running out of temperatures Summer ended too soon. I couldn't keep fiberglass and therefore my transom did not get in. Stalled. Now I'm worried about, uh, now I'm sitting here, sitting here thinking, uh, <laughs> winter's too short. I ain't ready for summer yet. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I changed course so many times on this thing, just trying to get it right, trying to do a good job. And, um, I, I'm glad I did, but I've got a bigger project and it's not going in the lake this year. And my body can only do so much, and then I'm going to go soak in the tub at the hotel and come back tomorrow and do a little bit more. I would do a lot more, but I got a son that's going to take me uh, ice fishing, and uh, that will be in the afternoon. I got someone I need to run into tomorrow to order some things, and that's if the weather isn't too bad for that person to get out and about. And... Um, then uh, I'm going to go home and see the grandkids and see the ex-wife and maybe make a trip to Wahala and get some boat parts and uh, go back to work on Sunday. So even though I had a good long weekend, man, it just seems like there's never enough time to get it all done. And I'm okay with that. I got something done today, and that's the goal. Every time I walk in here, get something done. Don't let every, Don't let life get in the way so much that I don't get nothing done on the boat. Um... 
so that's where we're going to leave this project and we'll pick it up tomorrow for a little while and uh, then we're going to go ice fishing. Have a great day.